Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I'm going to be breaking down the teaser trailer, I called it a trailer, I know it's actually a teaser, um, of The Walking in the Final Season, and we got a lot, sort of, not really a lot, but we got to see the first gameplay look in a way, like how the game will look, and we got Clementine and AJ in the teaser obviously, and now I want to mention that this will not be a scene in game, they have confirmed that this was ma mainly like a teaser, kind of like The Walking in the New Frontier, when they showed off Javier and Clementine and showed off how the game will look and obviously a lot of things got rewrote and basically um, in the um, teaser it showed a lot Doku started walking there with Clementine being Doku telling AJ that you only have a bullet basically if you need to end me if I get bitten and obviously Clem is like expecting that because she's like she doesn't care about herself at this point she only cares about saving AJ and obviously she wants to protect AJ but that's gonna be hard so she has she taught him all these things with with the pistol gun and and yeah um AJ's voice actor is Taylor Perks I have no idea who she is she's apparently a singer so that's good to know and also I just wanted to talk about the gameplay a little bit because obviously with AJ, he's um kind of being like um a Krista towards Clem. Like Krista like Clem's being like Krista in a way, but still being like nice. But um AJ's kinda of like Clem when she was younger with Krista, but he's only like four years old, so he's like he's like learning all this stuff fast and he's like obviously He's not getting the encouragement of being just a kid because he's trying to survive as long as he possibly can because that's Clementine's goal and to keep AJ in a safe place and make sure that he's alive all time and still in a safe place. Now I want to talk about the gameplay a little bit, um, not gameplay but like the teaser. The water and the tree effects, they looked really nice, like I liked how they, like, the trees moved or like the leaves whatever. And then the water effects, they felt really good and also the game looks really nice. It's really going for the comic book game which I think is good because season 1 did a good job job with it but season 2 I think season 2 was my favorite so far and then season 3 they went with a new approach which didn't really feel comic booky so it felt out of place with The Walking Dead and then season 4 it looks like they're going back to the old route with The Walking Dead like comic book style um, with the black lines definitely um, even though A New Frontier had black lines but it wasn't as much as season 2 in a way so I'm really glad they're act adding in the extra details and so that's pretty much it about the teaser and I'm gonna go on the screenshots. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that Clem's jacket is different. I'm not sure if, gonna, if they're gonna change that in the Kia or if that's the plan or that's like past, present, future Clem because um, at the moment the timeline is really confusing and I'm trying to figure out like what's happening. Maybe this is like a choice where we can choose any type of jacket we want for Clem because Clem will have an old one first obviously if that's the case. So yeah, okay let's go to screenshots. Now in the first one you can see Clem is fighting a walker with the black jacket and you can see her hair is, it's kinda long, it looks like the same haircut she has in the new frontier at the end when she got the haircut. It really feels like that way but I feel like she, um, it's just hiding in ponytails and that's actually a long hair. But for now I'm just gonna say it's a short hair for now. And obviously you can tell the details with all um, with the walker and Clem. They're really trying to show off the extra details because um, I'm not sure if AJ is in the screenshot and maybe AJ, I don't think AJ is next to Clem. Maybe this is like a case scenario where Clem's getting AJ back or something. I kind of doubt it because they mentioned how that will get AJ back in the beginning. So yeah. In next screenshot, you can see that they're at the train station. We know that there was a train station in the concept art and obviously um, Clem is obviously talking to AJ probably on a plan on how to get past the horde of walkers. It could be possible that the train station could be like the first encounterments we go to because um because it just makes sense for some reason like um the story starts out maybe like near the train station or like in the middle of the train station but obviously we don't know what the goal is yet. It could be possible that they're trying to find a place to hide out to avoid the walkers and maybe they don't know about the boarding school yet or they do know about the boarding school and AJ looks really concerned in this image so I guess maybe we'll have a choice maybe on how we can encounter this horror because of the gameplay that they'll tell us which I'll say in, the, in later on in the video. Now in the next image you can see that there is a basement and I'm not sure like what this is but this is a basement obviously and uh, I'm not sure if this is the basement of like the train station or the boarding school but Clem has a candle as you can see and I feel like it would be really weird if Clem had a candle I feel like someone would have given it to her because of supplies so I feel like I feel like the boarding school maybe could have gave Clem that I feel like the boarding school could have gave Clem that candle and maybe she's um checking out something that they heard in the basement 
that could be the case or Clem's trying to find a place to be safe and she told AJ to stay behind and she's looking to see if it's safe to stay there. Now that's all for screenshots pretty much and now um they talked about details in the Telta forums or the Telta news site and I want to tell you that the, um, the leaks were pretty much confirmed. The release date is August 14th, 2018, so that's about two-ish months, I think. Is that really? Wow, two months. It's in two months, which is actually coming soon, which is probably why they delayed the Wolf Among Us. That way, they can put all the focus on Walking Dead. And it will be coming to PC, Windows 10, Xbox One, PS4, and the Nintendo Switch will be coming 2018, so... Um, the Nintendo Switch will be the only one that's kind of like um, put at another release date. And that's kind of exciting because I really want to get the Nintendo Switch one, but at the same time, I kind of want to like get it first because I want to play it. They have confirmed that it'll only be 4 episodes and it'll be $20, so that's kind of sad to see, but then again, we got a new frontier, which is 4 episodes technically. Let me remind you, we had to pay 5 extra dollars for an episode that was basically split in half, so I'm glad they didn't do any of that 2 episode thing. I'm glad that they actually was being fair to us and actually... If they were, if they knew they were making like only four episodes, I'm glad they didn't get one episode and split in half and make us pay five dollars. That was kind of you know shitty. So my opinion is on the four episodes. I think it could be a good thing. They're gonna be talking over at E3 um, next week, I believe is E3. So obviously they'll probably tell us more explanation on like why there's only four episodes instead of five. Which um I think it's a good thing because they obviously don't want like you know like long overdue it and by long overdue I mean like stretch out the story by expanding it more when really it doesn't need to and by that I mean like what they can handle <laughs> so yeah now in this it talked about protecting means sacrifice um obviously Clem once she's the leader if y'all know Clem's gonna be the leader of the boarding school they pretty much confirmed it and if protecting means sacrifice, would that mean that we have to sacrifice the boarding school students to, in order to protect AJ or like steal rations or something? That's kind of like what I'm thinking of. Like, Clem has to put everyone above to protect AJ and if they don't cooperate, Clem probably won't like cooperate with them either because she, I don't think she will, I don't think she really stand with the out nonsense um, of the boarding school students. But then again, they survive for this long and if they just, if they survive for this long then I think that they're pretty good survivors like Clem, but obviously we don't know that yet, so we're gonna have to find out like what their issues are and see how if they cooperate with Clem well because that's that could be a main issue in season four, but um not really. Um they actually confirmed I think that there'll be an antagonist for season four in the article, so that's something to keep an eye out if there's gonna be um a nemesis. Um, enemies like a new frontier, probably not, something like that maybe, I don't know. And obviously in this quote, in this quote it says determine how Clementine's story ends. So it could be possible, instead of like, um, The Walking Dead season 2 where we had a choice to either shoot Jane or Kenny, it could mean that our choices could actually, like, all of, all of our choices throughout the whole season could actually determine our Clement, uh, Clementine's ending, which would be really interesting if that would happen if there wasn't just one choice, but simply all the choices um, pretty much changed Clementine's ending. That would be really awesome. I feel like our choices matter a lot, and and they said new types of choices. So I'm wondering like what kind of new gameplay mechanics they're gonna add um, with new types of choices. And they mentioned how AJ will be seeing our decisions and how it will impact him. So obviously with AJ seeing our decisions, it could show AJ that Clem may not care about enough people, or that Clem is like maybe like doing things that AJ thinks that isn't right. That's what I'm thinking because that was kind of like the same case scenario with Clem Time in season 1 where Lee wanted to steal the supplies in the truck or the car but Clem Time obviously didn't want to but Lee really needed to survive and you had a choice to either steal which would make you a bad role, mo role model for Clem or don't steal which will make Clem like stand by you which was an issue but that was like a tough choice that you had to make in order to make people happy, but it was also your survival instincts at the same time. Now, they mentioned this before um, in the article, they mentioned about the over-the-shoulder camera, so basically, the camera will be different, it'll actually be following you, behind you, be, um, behind Clown. And that's gonna be really weird to see because I'm not gonna be used to that. The only game I'm used to that is pretty much Life is Strange and whatever, whatever other camera game I play. But I think it'll be good because the whole point of that camera is to basically look at the environment and see if we can see like more things. Kind of like open world, but it's not really open world in this case. But I really want to see the environment and like turn the camera. So that should be a nice change of things. I'm kind of glad Telltale's changing their 
lot of things and try new things because I'd rather have new things than the same things because I think it's been overdue that we needed new things in Telltale Games. They also mentioned unscripted combat which means that if there's a walker we can have a choice to attack it if we go up to it and then it'll be unscripted and basically it won't be like a cutscene and the walker comes we'll be able to attack it um, just like how the gameplay showed in the um, PAX East thing. And also one more thing I want to mention is that it'll be dubbed French, German, Latin American, Spanish, and Brazil, Portuguese, and it'll be also translated also in case anybody is wondering about that. And also, and that's pretty much it for the Walking Dead the final season. I feel like I covered a lot in this video and um, August release date, mark your calendars, um, I'm really half read and um, I'm kind of nervous to be honest because you know, final season, what was bad, but yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna end it here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video on the Walking the Final Season. Um, kind of like an E3 discussion video, even though it's not E3, but they called the teaser E3, so um, that's weird. Anyways, I'm gonna end it here. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later for more videos. Bye.